Hello everyone, this is Valhalla Gaming TV, and this is the channel that plays everything so you don't have to. Today we are playing The Invincible. This is going to be part four in this series, and if you haven't caught up, look at the top right of the screen, there's a button up there that takes you to the playlist. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And those of you that have been here before, welcome back, and let's get back into this game. Open your eyes, lady. Why is her eyes closed? Novik? If the radio is still receiving. Nectar broken again? You're not close to the surface. Damn! Oh, either the radio broke or I'm in too deep. Maybe if I tweak the damn thing. I hear you. But you don't. Apparently. Oh, bollocks. I think I prefer it the other way around. The transmitter is not working. Alright, let's stand up. Okay. Okay. I'm coming to you, Astrogator. Oh, those do not look stable. That's a long drop, too. You don't want to fall down that. You know, I was talking about this earlier. Where would you be rather stuck? On a planet somewhere or in like an underwater cave? I think we got a little bit of both right now. I'm on a planet in a cave in nowhere. I think this is probably as bad as it gets. Oh, uh, we gotta crawl through. Astrogator. Astrogator? Oh. Still nothing. Look at all this water. You can go crazy from the silence. I used to find all the reporting annoying. But the silence is even worse. Dark thoughts creep in. Dr. Gorski may already be dead. Something attacked me. And it, it could have got to him too. I hope you're monitoring his vitals, Astrogator. And we'll come back for him. Unless I die here. I think it's this way. Well, if it keeps going up, you got a good chance. <clears throat> Gotta keep climbing. I imagine I could have went around the other way. Yeah. I can't stop. Did you really say that? I think I'm starting to freak out. Let's focus on one step at a time. Come on. Had enough. Just enough. Okay, forward. Faster. We're racing against time, Yasna. We're fighting for our lives. Enough of this nonsense. I can't keep fighting. Why not? You're driving me crazy. Good timing of it. You could shut up already. Good timing. Your timing is perfect, as usual. Any more advice? Huh, I thought so. You know, I did what I could, but it still wasn't enough. I have the right to finally give up. No, you don't. No. Not yet. I will not give up. I'll just take a breather. Two days, 48 hours. Huh? What? It's not long I can wait before I have to fly away. I don't want to break all the rules. All oh, that procedure. Leave Pulver and Crouch just to set off for you. All that for 
lucky other. The most likely condemned us all. Nevertheless, I'm inclined to do so. You better get moving. Of course you wouldn't let me die in peace. You can handle it. I can handle. I will not give up. Why are you giving up anyways, man? You're gonna die anyways. Like, you bet you just keep going until you die. What's the point of just laying there? I did it. I did it, Astrogator. Too bad you can't hear me. Skeleton. I don't believe my eyes. Oh, bones of some prehistoric reptile. And cold deposits, I assume. Oh, finally, we have proof. There was life on the surface of Regis Three, Millions of years ago. But for some reason now there's nothing. Not even oh my god, it's so dark. Or, or viruses. I'm starting to suspect that someone or something forces life into the water. Perhaps preventing it from moving ashore. If so, I think it's still happening today. The question is, have I encountered this thing already? Maybe I'm supposed to go this way. You never seem to get tired, Novik. Hmm. I hear you more and more. Oh, does that mean I'm close? Even more fossils. And without comms. No one will even know about this discovery if I'm stuck here. Unless HQ sends another expedition. Then they will find those bones along with mine. Well, let's keep moving and quit giving up. That would help. In this situation, I would not give up. Novik. Do I really hear you? Or is my mind playing tricks on me? Me too. How would your mind go so quickly? Something that calls my fool. No, don't hesitate. I will die if I stay here. A way out. Astrogator, I'm close. You better hope so. Damn it. I was sure he would hear me this time. What? I'm coming. Hey, me. Is he going to leave? Oh, he's leaving. Yeah. Astrogator, I I'm here. Over. Finally. Yes, sir. You can't even imagine. It's really good to hear your voice again, Doctor. Sir, I've heard you all the way. Yes, sir, are you saying what? Oh, God. What was that? Yes, sir. Are you there? Do you copy? What is that? What the... What kind of deadly shit is this? Doctor, the robot. What about? There's something here. It looks like a machine. It burned a hole in the wall. And I was watching all these kind of crap 
complex. You must evacuate immediately. Actually, I recognize this noise. It's a damn thing that dropped me underground. It's very likely. I even have a suspicion. I think it's moving away from me. Excellent. Don't stop yet, though. The alliance, huh? The distance between you and this machine, the better. How is it possible that the Alliance machine got here before us? I'd like to know myself. If our intel's incorrect, an invincible already landed on just three, they will have a huge advantage over us. So why won't they confront our ship head on? <laughs> Instead, they waste time on some shape. I can see a passage. No oh, gun. Shit! You gotta move. Get up. I'm stuck. I can't move. What do you mean you're stuck? Oh, it's coming at me. Oh my god. It's getting closer. I have nowhere to run. It's getting closer. It's getting closer. It's gonna crush me. I've got nowhere to run. Bolly. I'm gonna die here after all. Bolly saving. Oh, what? No, Bali. Bali. Bali sacrificed himself. Jasna, we must evacuate you. I'm getting parameters. Pulse situation. Please confirm you're there. I'm okay. The probe did something. As if. I don't know. I don't know. I saw the readings. Gave a distress signal and then followed a series of directives that I didn't implement. Currently, it does not respond to commands. <clears throat> I'll check on it. I guess it's busted for good. <sighs> How do I get through here? Cursed crap. <sighs> oh, hey. Oh, the hatch fell down. Probably from the registry. Can you get the record? Let's see. Are you telling me this whole time all this stuff was from the Alliance? You guessed right, sir. The Alliance is indeed already on the planet. They even managed to set up a fill base. How could headquarters have got it so wrong? According to intelligence, the Invincible is not due to arrive for another 14 days. Uh, I guess we should ask them back home. They built a whole camp. We got rovers. Putting holes in the walls. Oh, and that's her. That's me. Wow. It really did almost flatter me. Probe. It... it distracted the antimats. You say that as if it did it on purpose. It did. Because that's what I think. How else to explain it? Coincidence? I don't believe in such coincidences, Astrogator. Poor Bali. Got blown up. Didn't they say he learns ex uh, the robot learned exponentially? Bali, I'm coming. I'm coming, little guy. Not He's all messed up. The probe was broadcasting a while ago, so maybe we can save its call. the records you could say that since i found the probe i haven't been alone uh, i'm sorry yes maybe it can still be rebuilt anyway you're not entirely alone i feel like i've lost another companion i feel like i've i've lost another companion my last one you still have me not down here Bali was such an awesome probe 
If that's the core of the robot, we gotta take it. Hey, cool down. Are you talking about the probe core? Huh. Well, they say in order to win over a person, you have to steal their heart. But we'll the save key Bali. Is to get their brain. You know that's just a metaphor. Anatomically incorrect and highly overused, yes. Okay. Let's get going. We got Bali's brain. Not good. You simply don't get a break. What is that this time? Stormfront is approaching your location. Oh, come on. Now of all times. I know, Doctor. But please muster up a little more strength. Let's not forget that the Alliance is in the vicinity. Wait a minute. Do you have any specific expectations of me? Since I'm nearby their troops. Yeah, it's hard to call them specific. To learn more. You're missing the most important thing, sir. We still have to save Gorski. Yeah, where is Gorski? I, I don't know what your silence means. Uh, I was going to tell you later. I'm really sorry. What? His readings. No. You don't have to finish. I understand. You did what you could. No. I did what I thought was right. Come on, Doctor. He didn't die due to lack of oxygen. He bled out, likely from the fall. Enough! I've heard enough. Yeah, she ain't taking this very good. Not at all. By the way, how long have we been out? It's the longest 20 minutes of my life. Give or take. So short, I could have sworn it was longer. I thought it was five minutes tops. I heard you during that time. Oh god. The storm's getting worse. So, yeah, okay, let's do I that. I heard you some of the time. This time we were cut off the other way. In one place in particular, I, I had a pretty clear transmission. I'm listening. Yeah, uh, um, you said that you would break the rules for me. Oh. Yes, but the rules have nothing to do with you, yes, sir. It's rather common sense. I would definitely send Artie for you. But would I go alone? I don't know. Hey. I'm approaching the vehicle. Hard to tell. It looks like it's been stuck here for a while. But the light inside works. Maybe I can hold out. There isn't a living soul here. Are you sure? Please take a look around. It's clear. No one's coming out with me. Oxygen tank, yes. I could have helped him after all. What? What are you talking about? I could have left him that fucking tank. Another one was just around the corner. <sighs> what a cruel joke. That's absurd, Doctor. Please just stop. I know what I did. And I know what the consequences are. Does that disappoint the I was hoping to meet someone, it's just tiredness. I don't want to meet anyone. Just tiredness. Not disappointment. But tiredness. Are you surprised? Trying to look around for things that won't let me go through here. Oh, now it does. Nope. It locks me off. I have a feeling I'm supposed to get into that vehicle. Or at least look for somebody. But I don't see nothing. Can I get in? There it goes. Side either. The equipment looks on damage though. And get in. Little rover. Start the rover. Um, there we go. 
Hold it down. The engine started. Nice. Do I get to drive it? Probably not. Oh wait, I do. Um, I'm going. I'm going. Please talk to me. Maybe that will calm me down. Oh shit! It hit the bonnet. Don't worry. Even if it hits the rover directly, you'll come out unscathed. The vehicle is, is kind of a Faraday cage. The, the energy will flow through the body, discharge into the ground. I'm not worried. I'm a goddamn oasis of peace. And there are exceptions, you know. Such as the windshield shattering at high voltages. It doesn't stress me out at all. I'm going to stay in first person. That uh, lightning is really hitting the metal. It says this way. Guess we're going over here. Thank God this thing's got some sweet suspension on it. Handling it pretty well. Imagine we go this way. Just follow whatever path I can get to. Got like a little radar. Damn it! I'm having trouble finding the right way. Southwest. How am I supposed to know where Southwest is? I don't have a compass, remember? The city attracts lightning, so the fewer flashes on the horizon, the better. Uh, how far am I from the city's border? Uh, considering how fast you're moving, if you're heading straight to the destination, as long as no structures collapse. You don't know, do you? I got the wrong way. into a cave. The storm has subsided. I think we made it the right way. I was literally just guessing. I found a place to hide. A Faraday cage? Uh, that's not it. I left the structures behind. It's an ordinary rock formation. Even better. You have to catch your breath eventually. Can I ask for one thing? Could you find the model number of the rover? Uh, what for? I've got an idea, but it depends on the model. ATR 12? Uh, Emmett 2001? Emmett 2001. Well, could that be it? Uh, let me see. Bingo. Emmett's are equipped with a black box. Please find it. Okay. Atmosphere up top. Here we go. I have the box, but it's all locked up. Really? Uh, they must have changed the equipment because I have no information about a key. Where did you even get a catalogue of their gear from, sir? And anyway, it doesn't matter. What should I do? One second. I need to think. Don't know if this can help. But the Alliance labels black boxes as data loggers. You will get cable access. Look for something resembling a socket or a plug. I think I have something like that. Then you can connect to the probe's brain there. And press on. Won't work. These inputs are not compatible with Commonwealth plugs. From the outside, our equipment is different, but inside we have the same guts, so to speak. The cable on the back of the box should already fit. <sighs> same guts, hey? Just like with humans.
Okay. Oh, on the probe. Okay, it's in. Just a moment. Well done, Doctor. I'm receiving a signal. So, what now? You can finally rest. It'll take me a while to dig through all the records. Okay, do I just take a nap? Station marking. The rover was connected to a base. The one from the slides? Oh, most probably. We're gonna connect to it? No one is transmitting from the base. I'd suggest you lie down. I don't know if I can sleep. The storm's raging. I'll try to fall asleep. I'm going to sleep now. Yawn. There we go. Sleepy time. You could imagine you could sleep after being doing like going through all that stuff. You'd be tired. Why can I hear us? Wait. Astrogator, can you explain to me what I'm hearing right now? This is a recording from the rover. The Alliance has apparently broken the encryption of our radio channel. Oh, bollocks. So, so what do we do? We need to change the frequency and encryption key. Okay. What's the point? As soon as you give me a new channel, they will overhear us and change it as well. Just look at the probe's brain. Bully? What's with... All you have to do is watch it closely. I'm switching now, waiting for you to join. Oh, I see. The new frequency is... The first air channel, second air channel... Third. Okay, the channel is active. Now the encryption key... The first three digits of the cipher are... Three... Two... Seven. Three, two, seven. Uh, the next is... Two... One... Four. Two, one, four. Oh, I'm here. Well done. That should buy us some time. So, how should we continue? Uh, don't you need more time to rest? I do. But there's no way I'm going to sleep now. Besides, nothing's stopping me anymore. The storm has subsided. All right. Let's not risk evacuating directly from the city. It should be safer outside its perimeter. I took the liberty of looking through the photos of the nearby area. Everything north and east of your location looks relatively safe. All you have to do is move away from this cluster of metal. So? Should I go back to the ship? That's an odd question. Of course you should come back. Now even more than ever. Very concerned for your safety, Doctor. Uh, no need to be. I'm fine. I have a sleeve. Hey everyone, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. On the bottom of the screen, if you like, comment, share, subscribe, you can support the channel. Also, check out the videos above. That'll take you to more content from Valhalla Gaming TV. Thanks again. Later.